Hey everybody, this is Father Christian, and you know during this time there are so many good things that are happening here at St. Mary's um, and in the Christian community in general, especially within our own ministry. And we're doing this time where we want to check in with all our ministry leaders and see what has been going on in these respective ministries and how we respond to this time of, of, of Corona and how we reach out and uh, do formation with one another and also serve one another, serve our community. So today we have on Miss Kathy Pignatero, uh, or she leads the ministry over at Mary's uh, Closet. And Kathy's been up to some great things. The, the actual uh, closet usually is always involved in the community, sending money all over the place, uh, including the church. So during our ministry leader call, uh, Kathy gave some, some, a great update on what's been going on. So first, Kathy, thank you so much for, for being on this Zoom call. And uh, how does it feel to be doing an interview like this? <laughs> it feels a little strange doing it from home. <laughs> so now we're in the, this is the world we're in right now. And uh, so if you could just be talking about what, what, what has Mary's Closet been up to these, these, this last week or a couple of weeks? A couple of weeks ago, some of the ladies were getting concerned that uh, they shouldn't be coming to the store. And right about the time some of them were starting to melt down about it, everything got closed. So um, that was the Lord answering their prayers, obviously. But uh, we haven't stopped reaching out just because we're closed. Um, the first thing that I did before things got really crazy was I immediately ordered food to be shipped straight to Treasure Coast Foster Closet for families. And um, by the time they started shipping, things were already being back ordered. So that's how fast things were emptying out. So they're getting it piecemeal, but they are getting it, thank heavens. The other thing that I did immediately was contact Rena at Elevate Hope and uh, asked what she needed. And she needed food as well. I did go out to a few stores, found a few things for them, but I also went to Winn-Dixie and bought a lot of gift cards because that gives them the freedom to go buy what they need. They get lots and lots of food donated, but maybe they don't have any meat or maybe they don't have any produce. So this way they can go get what is necessary to feed all these families. Um, yesterday, I picked up soup from our wonderful John Norris at the kitchen and I delivered that to uh, Mary's shelter which is the home for homeless pregnant girls. Mm. And um, they, of course, live in a residential home and they cook their own meals and do their own cleaning and learn how to raise their babies and live life. So they were extremely excited to be getting prepared food. It gave them a day off and what's better than chicken soup? <laughs> So, um, and then uh, Project Lift, I'll be taking soup to them on Monday for their uh, lunchtime. They are continuing to keep their school open because of the, um, the, the situation those kids are in. They don't need to be idle. They mm -hmm. need to be busy and carrying on with life as usual. So it's important that they stay in that environment and there, Bob Zacchio assured me that they're doing everything to keep them safe. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Um, the other thing I'm doing today, I'm ordering some little Easter goodies for all the littles in our church. So they'll get a little package in the mail and uh, with lots of love from Mary's Closet. So little by little, you know, um, altar flower donation, which we'll be doing very soon. Even though we don't have this beautiful campus right now, um, the Altar Guild still needs our help, so they'll have money waiting for them when we get ready to do flowers again. So it's, yeah, I, I've stayed fairly busy. Uh, <laughs> I have a few ladies uh, that are my volunteers that are uh, alone, and uh, you know we all get a little squirrely after a while being in the house. Yeah. So I did meet with a couple of them yesterday in a park at a respectful distance. We brought her lunch, and we got together. That's awesome. So, and that really helped them a lot. So uh, some people don't have family close by and they're afraid to go out. They're afraid of, the, of catching this and uh, it, it's, it's just helpful. Right. So there's 
there's two things. You've been serving the community and all these partnerships that the closet has built over time. I mean, you've built these trusting relationships with people where you, at a time like this, you could just call them up and say, how can we help? How can we support? And so yeah. that shows the, how important it's for us to continue to always build relationships with, with Martin County. But then you're also, as a ministry leader, looking at your own folks, uh, your own team, and caring for them. Right, and I keep in touch with all of them. And I let them know what I'm doing on behalf of all of them through the thrift store because it's not me. It's them that keep this thing going. So, you know, I, I, I can do the ordering and I can ask for the checks to be written, but it's them that do the work. And I, and I assume that's pretty easy. It's just, it's like just picking up the phone and just calling your, 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 your team and seeing how they're doing and then inviting them out for lunch. It's, it's not a huge project that has to happen. It's, I, so, so I mean, like any of us can do something like this for the communities in our own life. And, you know, if we all, especially us ministry leaders, if, if we all just did it with our teams, that's, that's a lot of people in the church. And, 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 you know, I encourage all of my people to keep in touch with each other, to pray for each other, and, and to help the people around them. So... You know, it's the little things, you know, when I walk in my neighborhood and the people are outside just getting fresh air or walking or riding their bikes, it, it's important that they have a contact, even if it's across the street, to say good morning and say hello, because this is kind of creepy for all of us. Right, right. Yeah, it, 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 we always look at where, where do we find God in all this in all the mess and all the chaos of, of life. And so in the midst of this chaos, the hope what I'm hearing from you is that um, it will change the way we view our neighbors and our, how, how our, our contact and connection with our neighbors and our friends, uh, being really intentional to always reach out and call folks and check in with them, our neighbors, when we just walk the dog or just anywhere. Sometimes we just don't say hello to one another <laughs> and just how meaningful that is just to do that. Um, so the, uh, and it speaks also to just the, the, um, the model that the thrift store has of, of having this um, kind of on, this entrepreneurial mi uh, ministry that is able to have this financial freedom to do things that uh, work with the community, get people, bring goods to you, you sell them, and then you have this, this, these resources, you have this cash, and then you can instantly turn that into checks and you don't have to do big fundraisers. You have this ability to just say, yes, we can do that, we can support it. Um, so all of you, this is another reason why the thrift store, when we all get back up and running again to support our thrift store, bring your goods, your good goods, um, buy from our thrift store, because what you're hearing from Kathy today is her ability to, she's already made, named three major ministries um, in, or three major uh, uh, outreach services within St. Without, within Martins County that she can just say, yes, we got you covered. What has it been like for you as just a follower of Jesus during this time and in your walk of making sense of all this Corona stuff? Well, I think we all, hopefully we're all trusting that the Lord is going to get us through this. And I think it's important to be able to see what he's doing during this. As horrible as this all is for everyone, and especially for the sick people, I think we're going to be better for it. And I'm going to pull Father, Father Todd and get weepy, but um, it, it is so easy to shine your light. And, and right now, none of us can go anywhere. We really can't do anything. How many closets can you clean out? So shine your light. Mm. Make a call. Wave at a neighbor. Be nice to the girl at Publix. And the girl at at Walgreens, they're all getting yelled at because they don't have toilet paper. They have nothing to do with that. So it's just, I think it all comes down to kindness and, and keeping your prayer life up. Yeah. And you know, your devotions, it, 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 it's, you know, it's so easy to forget it's Lent mm -hmm. because we're also preoccupied with all this other nonsense. Turn, turn the, turn the news off. You know, check in once or twice a day and see what's going on with it. But then do something good. Mm -hmm. Just do something good. That's all. Mm. If I'm not doing something good, 
I am miserable. Mm. Mm. So that's great. That's great. Yeah, I was on a uh, phone call with with some fellow associates in the Congre in the diocese, and he said, "You know, guys, don't forget it's Lent. It's Lent, and and the the we immediately want to during times of crisis we slip into the trap of overfunctioning." Just function, 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 do, 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 because we want some kind of control. Uh, but don't lose Lent in the midst of all what needs to be done, in order, and especially for us who are leaders in ministry, because then you lose Lent, and then you're no good, because you're not being uh, one who's intimately connected with God and sharing that love with others, that love of God. So um, so thank you. Thank you for that uh, remembrance for us, that this is, this is a time of Lent, a time of reflection, a time of us to grow into more intimate connection with God. So, and thank you for all that you do and being an awesome ministry leader here and being a leader who makes leaders for, 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 for Jesus, uh, Jesus church. So, uh, thank you for being on this, on this zoom call, <laughs> <laughs> zoom interview and, uh, keep on shining that light. And for all of you out there, shine the light as, uh, as Kathy shows us and, uh, and support that thrift store when we get up and running. So, and if anyone wants to help out in any immediate ways right now, is there any way to, through the thrift shop and through you, they, they can, even from Absolutely. their own home? I, I've, I've asked all the people that volunteer at the store, if they have any ideas or they hear of anyone that needs anything, please let me know. Um, if someone else knows of someone, I, I'm happy to reach out to anyone that we can reach out to. Um, obviously, we can't go visit people right now, but there's other ways for me to help people. So by all means, if you have an idea or you know someone that needs something, please let me know. And if I can help, I will be very happy to. Awesome. I'll drop your email at the bottom of this. Um, and the, her, Kathy's email will be in the description as, as well. So. Well, God bless you, sister. Thank you so much for, for, for being on this phone call and, and doing everything you do. And uh, let's just keep on uh, growing into Jesus' call and reaching out with love and doing something Thank good. You. Do something good today. Uh, I love that. Keep it, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. So, okay. all right. All well, right. God bless you. And uh, see you out there in the kingdom. Thanks.